morning everyone i'm gary martin and today we're going to be setting up a new gadget that i bought that's becoming more affordable for your everyday golfer and it's one that i'm starting to see in a lot of people's armory and it's a portable launch monitor i've opted to buy the flight scope mevo there were a couple of different ones while watching on ebay i'm watching the the flight scope mevo and I was watching the Ernie Sport, one that sort of you don't see much of in the UK, but I have used one at a previous golf club. I really enjoyed using it. But this one came up at absolute bargain price. You know, these are retailing over four hundred pound. I think about four fifty to be precise. And I picked this up for two hundred and twenty pound, wrapped and sealed. It was somebody that had bought um, a Mevo Plus, and I don't know if this were a freebie or you know something they got on a bit of a deal, and, and they've just decided to sell it on. So, um, you know, absolute bargain. And you can get these under £250 used in excellent condition anyway. So, like I said, you know, they're becoming more and more affordable. I'm starting to see them in more people's armoury. And, you know, I thought I'd get one of these just to add a little bit of context in some outdoor videos that I do. But also just to keep on top of my distances. You know, I'm, I'm always keen to work on... I want to know my wedge distances more, especially inside 100 yards. And I like to practice out of grass outside. And it's not always convenient to bring our GC quad outside because we're quite a busy club and, you know, we're teaching and fitting inside. So we're going to see, we're going to set it up. I'm not, I'm not big on technology. I'm not an, a technology expert, but it's got a quick setup guy that should take under three minutes. So we're going to have a go at setting it up from new. You know, I have read the startup instructions and uh, I'm going to see how accurate it is because I know from previous practice that I've done, I hit a 54 degree about 115 yards. So we're going to see how accurate this is. And I'm going to be honest with you and tell you whether I'd recommend it or not because uh, for what I paid for it, if I don't like it, I'll just put it back on eBay. So first things first, what you've got to do is you've got to download the FlightScore Mevo app, which I've done. I've got a, an iPad here. And I've downloaded it to this device because that's because I'm using my mobile to film with. So I brought my iPad with me, which I'm going to open up. Need to make sure Bluetooth's on. Let's have a look. Can I remember my password? <laughs> it's early up here at Huddersfield. I've, I've come before I've opened up. So I'm going to just check my Bluetooth's on. Yeah, we're good on that one. And we're going to power up the device. It's asking me, I've just opened the flight score Mevo app up and it's asking me to log in. Now, I'm not connected to internet here. So this is pretty worrying. And like I said, this is the first time I'm setting this device up. So now I'm starting to wonder whether I'm going to need data. Whether or not this is going to work or not. But this is real. This is what I'm, you know, you're experiencing it exactly as it is. So I'm logging in. I can't see this actually working, to be honest, with no Wi-Fi. Unable to connect. Please check your internet connection. So that could be, it could be a short video for us today, guys. Um, that's it. Can't do anything. Right, what I'm going to do, guys, I've got 40 minutes before Pro Shop opens. I'm going to run down to Pro Shop. I'm going to log in and open the account. I'm not sure if once I've logged in, because it's an app, it might just stay open then on the iPad. I'm going to run down, log in and come back up. I'm back. <laughs> right, we're logged in. I've obviously left the building. It's stayed open, the app now. It's logged in. Get in the comments, guys. Is that my human error? Am I just stupid with technology? I had registered uh, to uh, FlightScope, but I'd not, logged, I'd not logged in before I left the house, so I don't know if that's human error um, or whether... You know, you guys would have made that same mistake too. So we're logged in. I've clicked on settings. Sorry if I'm a bit out of breath here. <laughs> I clicked on settings. Now I'm going to turn the device on. And there's a button then to sort of select device. So I think it might recognise the device once it's switched on through Bluetooth. So select devices in range. Let's see what's happening. Something's loading. Some lights are flashing on here. I think it's just sort of a battery meter showing that it's fully charged. And Mevo, it's picked it up. Right, I'm set up. I've got my iPad here. It's saying connected. It's saying ready. I've got my Mevo here, which is about 
sort of seven feet and we're going to hit some 54s now i would say this goes about 115 yards you might not see the top of the ball flag because i can't get the camera any further back that one's not registered let's have another go Again, I'm just going to go a little bit further forward. Like I said, you might need a tape measure. Uh, I were assuming that you might not, but I'm going to try a little bit further forward. Then I might have to try a bit further back to see if I'm just not in the right zone here. We've got bingo. It's loading. So, first tip, 100 and seven yards carry i did say about 115 yards total distance uh, this is just measuring carry so i would say that's very accurate because this is not going to roll forward very much so you will need you do need to have some sort of measuring stick to make sure you've got the seven meters because i swing quite fast that's what it did suggest it's loading again 109 I'm impressed with that I'm impressed with that you know this is a 220 pound I paid for this shouldn't have told people that should I in case I wanted to resell it <laughs> that's that Yorkshire side of me that that were a nice strike we're loading 114 yards right on the money I knew that were, you know, I knew that were a sort of mid-round strike. You know, when you strike it flush. I told you, 115 yards. I'm loving this. I'm going to be able to work on half distance. I'm going to wait. A nine o'clock backswing. Because I like, I want, a, this usually goes about 90 yards for me. It's just under 100 yards. If I hit a, an L-shaped backswing. It's loading. Come on, beyond the 90. Just loading up. Oh, 95, a little bit more. So guys, I'm not a whiz with technology, but that, after that first little lick up, has not been difficult to set up. What I would say is that I don't know how to screencast. I need to know how to screencast on an iPad. If anyone's a whiz kid on an iPad, how do you screen record? Because I want to be able to overlay this into videos. Um, I know what it will do is it'll save the session, so I would have the data in a, on, a, on, a, on a screenshot. Um, but I just don't know. I tried just off camera to try and record the screen, and I, I weren't sure how to do it on an iPad. I'm going to have another little L-shaped swing. Let me see where it pitches. I ain't actually been looking. Yeah, that's round about in relation to 100 yard mark, around about 90 yards and 92. So I trust that over my eyes. I'll have one more. I might need to turn the volume up because when I've heard we've got a lad up here called Dylan, really nice golfer, um, I hear his beep when he hits the ball. And mine's not making any beeping, but I'm guessing I've just got the volume turned down on my iPad. Have one more. Oh, that was thin. Has it picked that up? It's not actually picked that one up, in all fairness to it. But I don't think I'd want that data anyway. I don't really need to know how far I ate it when I fill it. To be fair, I don't know if you can see this lie I'm hitting it off. For some reason, I just keep hitting it off a bold lie. <laughs> I'll have one more. I'm trying to make excuses for myself. That were better. And it's loading. That's gone. Pitch past 100. 114. It's right on the money, isn't it? I knew 115. I love when I get 115 with a 54, I'm licking my lips. You know, I can probably bust it up to 120. Uh, but what I don't like is 100 yards because I'm not a, I'm not a fan of hitting sort of a, an easier shot with a 54. I like to really get into it more and commit to it. Um, anyway, that's it. That's the flight scope Mevo. 
I'm smiling, you know, you can tell it's all natural. This. I'm, I'm happy with that. I can't wait to get using it. Uh, I'm going to have to cut this one short because I'm just about to open the shop. But uh, I'm looking forward to sharing that one. We definitely recommend the device from what I've seen, what I've used it for so far. But, you know, if you are in the market with one, maybe follow the channel. See what I'm going to be doing with it over the next few weeks. And see, you know, let's see how good it actually is. Because you can use it inside as well. Uh, which I will test at, at some point, but not in a video like this, actually in a constructive video. So, um, yeah, I'm buzzing with my new gadget. And, you know, as these things become more affordable, I guess, you know, you guys are going to be on the on the lookout for, you know, what's what, what to buy in it. And so far, I'd recommend that. Um, just make sure you log into your app before you leave the house. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a few days' time. Bye.